So today I'm doing my January wrap-up and my February to-be-read pile. I read seven books in January and I'm very surprised at that number because I started school again and I just had a lot of assignments and stuff to do this month but I managed to read seven books and I'm really happy about that. So this month I participated in the Battle of Books Readathon which helped me get through some books because I was like I'm doing a readathon I better read. Anyways I'm just gonna start off with the books that I read in January and what I thought about them and I will be doing mini reviews type of things slash it's just pretty much what I thought about the book over on my blog post my January wrap up and February blog post because that's where I'll be doing like mini reviews on each of these books so if you want to know what I thought about these just check out that post I don't know if it'll be up but if it is it'll be the first link in the description so the first book I read in January was City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare and I'm finally caught up with the Mortal Instruments series and guys I cannot wait for City of Heaven and Only Fire because I just like it's the ending of the series and this is one of my favorite series of all time so I really want to know how it ends but at the same time I don't because I really don't want a bunch of characters to die. I gave this book a four and a half out of five stars. <sighs> I really enjoyed this book. It was slow-ish in the beginning and then it got really intense really fast. I just kind of need City of Heavenly Fire now so I'm very very excited for May? Is that when it's coming out? I think it's May. And if you haven't read the Mortar Instrument series you must go read it now because it is freaking amazing. It's so good. Second book I read in January was An Abundance of Catherines by John Green and I have officially read all of the John Green books. Yay for me. Um, but yes, I really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and as you can see, I tabbed a lot. I loved this book. I loved Hassan. He's just hilarious. And I really like Colin as well. He's very quirky and really smart. Now, these next three and a half books I read during the Bout of Books readathon, and I have a wrap-up on my blog. I didn't make a video. Well, I did make a video, but I didn't put it up in time. So I just thought it would be kind of dumb to put it up now. First book I read during that readathon was The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. And I finished this on the first day, which was Monday, because school was cancelled. And so I had the entire day to read. So I fucking love this book. Like, new favorite series. I'm not, not kidding. It's up there. It might be tied with the Mortal Instruments. Maybe even better. I don't know. You can't really compare the two series because they're completely different topics, but I loved this book. I actually really, really liked Mara Dyer, which is kind of weird for me because usually I have a bit of a problem with the main female character because sometimes they're just too, like, needy or, like, just annoying. But Mara Dyer was awesome. I really, really liked her character. Obviously, I have to talk about Noah Shaw here because ever since I read this book, I've... I've been obsessed with Noah Shaw. I've been listening to Noah Shaw playlists on 8-tracks and like Mara Dyer playlists on 8-tracks because just I really, really like this book and I cannot wait for the third book. But anyways, really liked it. 5 out of 5 stars. As you can see, I tabbed some pages and most of them are to do with Noah. So I will probably do a series review after I've read the third book, which comes out in June, I believe. So yes fourth book I read was The Evolution of Mara Dyer, also by Michelle Hodkin, and this is the second book in the Mara Dyer trilogy, obviously. Um, this book, I liked it even more than the first one. That cliffhanger at the end killed me. Literally, I died. This is a reincarnation of me. Like, this isn't the real Anna. This is just a reincarnation because I died after I read this book. Like, Michelle Hodkin murdered me. This book murdered me. It killed me. I died. I'm back alive now, so it's all good. Dude. Just Noah Shaw. Noah Shaw. That's all I have to say about the series. Just Noah Shaw. 
Noah Shaw. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. This was really, really good, guys. You need to read this series. It's amazing. And as Reagan said, don't read the synopsis because, I don't know, I kind of agree with Reagan. It's a bit better if you go into the book not really knowing what's going to happen or really what it's about, especially with the Mara Dyer books because they're very, like, psychological type thing. And they're kind of scary, so... I didn't find them scary because I don't get scared easily. Like, I've watched two seasons of American Horror Story and I was not scared. Fifth book I read was Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. And guys, this series is amazing. I think I like this better than the first book because it had um, a lot more things going on, I guess. I'm probably going to be doing a book discussion about these two books soon. Next book I read was Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Lovethin. It was really, really great. I gave this, I think, a 5 out of 5 stars. And I really enjoyed this story. It's really short, so I was able to get through it. Um, and it was just a nice pause to have a short book in between some lar longer books. I really enjoyed this. I really like Dash and Lily also. Just the whole concept of leaving a notebook in a bookstore for someone to find, I just thought was really awesome. And I would totally do that, to be honest. But, you know, I'm probably not going to ever do that. Gave this book five and a half stars, and it's really great during, I guess, Christmas time because it is a Christmas book. But um, I think it's great when you just want a nice, cute little read. And the last book that I read in January was The Diviners by Libba Bray, and I managed to finish this, and I'm proud of myself because I was reading this kind of slower than I would have liked because at some parts I was like, okay, come on, this is this is droning on. I gave this a four and a half out of five stars. And the reason I didn't give it five is because I felt like it was too long. I feel like some parts were just unnecessary. But anyways, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. But sometimes the main character, Evie, kind of bothered me. But, um, you know. And I cannot wait for the second book. It comes out in the spring. This is a really great paranormal -y book. Yeah. So I recommend it to you guys if paranormal is your thing. Those are the books I read in January and I'm really happy with all of the books. I'm going to be showing you what books I'm going to read in February. So currently I'm reading Uninvited by Sophie Jordan and I have an arc of this which I got from my local bookstore and pretty much they have a program there that you can get arcs and then you just review it for their website and that's pretty much it. I chose this one. I'm really enjoying this. I'm on page 266 so I'm almost done and this came out actually January 28th. I wish I could have gotten a review up before that, but I got it like the day before it came out. I'm really enjoying this. It's pretty awesome. It's really cool concept. I haven't read anything like this, so I think it's really fresh, fresh read. And I will be doing a review on this, as I said, for the website, but I'll probably also be doing a video review for this as well. So yes, you guys should all go buy this because now that it's out, because it's absolutely amazing. Like, I honestly really, really, really enjoyed this book, so yeah, I'm going to finish that hopefully soon. Next book I want to read isn't like a set in stone, like I'm going to start this book because I'm definitely not going to finish it this month and I don't even know if I want to start it yet, but that is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin and I just really want to start this series, but I don't know if I want to start it during school. I might start reading it or I might read it in the summer, so I don't know, I'm just... I'm just putting this out there. Next book I want to read is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. And guys, I'm just really excited for this book. I feel like I'm one of the only people that hasn't that haven't hasn't read this book. And I just need to because it looks amazing. Whitney from Witty Novels raves about this book like crazy. I really want to see what all the hype is about, so I'm definitely reading it this month. Next book I want to read is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead and the movie comes out this month I'm pretty sure and so I really want to read it before I watch the movie. And I'm really glad they changed the covers to be honest because I really really did not like the covers before with just the faces on them. I'm excited to read this. Another book I want to read in February is Control by Lydia Kang but if you're reading this book this month let me know because that would be fun. Maybe we could set some dates to read it together maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. So, this is pretty exciting. I'm not really sure what it's about, but it just looks really cool. So, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea what it's about. And the last book I want to read this month is The Shadowhunters Codex by Xander Claire and Joshua Lewis. And I just can't wait any longer to read this because it's 
a shadow hunter book it's a companion to the mortal instruments and so i'm having withdrawals so i kind of need this book in my life right now it's absolutely beautiful like i've never seen such a pretty book ever props to whoever designed this very excited to read this and i'm very excited to see the little notes that um simon and clary and especially excited for the parts that jace writes so as you can see like here there's little notes that they've written and i just can't wait to read and So yes, those are all the books that I read this last month and what I want to read this month. Let me know if you've read any of these books in the comment in the comments in the comments down below and what you thought about them. I'm gonna go now and read. Can we just all appreciate pentatonics for a second? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Probably going to be doing a book haul, maybe, probably, possibly. I also filmed the Book Tower Challenge, which I'll be uploading soon, and that was really fun to do. But anyways, I'm going to go now. Bye!